Manufacturing a hydraulic press gear wheel in a factory involves several critical steps, including material selection, machining, heat treatment, and finishing. Here's a detailed breakdown of the process. Material selection. Material choice. Typically, high-strength alloy steel, e.g. 4140 or 4340, is used for its durability, wear resistance, and ability to withstand high loads. Raw material form. Steel billets, bars, or castings are chosen based on the size and type of gear wheel. 2. Forging or casting. Optional. Forging. For high-strength gear wheels, the material may be forged to improve grain structure and mechanical properties. This is especially important for heavy-duty hydraulic press gears. Casting. For less critical applications, casting may be used to shape the gear blank, followed by machining. 3. Machining the gear blank. Turning, the gear blank is rough turned on a lathe to achieve the basic cylindrical shape and dimensions. Drilling boring. Holes for shafts or keyways are bored or drilled to the required specifications. 4. Gear cutting. Hobbing. For gears with straight or helical teeth, a gear hob is used to cut the teeth to the desired profile. Shaping. If the gear design requires, a shaping machine is used to form specific tooth profiles. Milling. For custom or non-standard gears, CNC milling machines may be used. Broaching. Keyways or splines are cut using a broaching tool. Now 5. Heat treatment. Hardening. The gear is heat treated to improve hardness and wear resistance. Methods include carburizing, induction hardening, or nitriding. Tempering. This step reduces brittleness while retaining the required hardness. Stress relieving. The gear may undergo stress relief annealing to ensure dimensional